Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today I'm doing a very special Victoria's Secret collab featuring Miss Rosh Posh, Alyssa Ashley, and this is Symphony. This is the tutorial for my look. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my channels. I decided to take a little throwback and I'm going to be recreating this look here by the absolutely stunning like woman crush everyday bay for life Adriana Lima from the Victoria's Secret fashion show 2008. I love this because she's got on hella bronzer and you know that's the only amount you should wear ever is hella and I just like how fresh and natural and beautiful this is so this is the one that I've chose and if you want to see their look then I will leave a link in the description box below when I think of Victoria's Secret Angels this is what I think of just like bronzy glowy beautiful seductive you know all that anyways let's get started before I ramble so first I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion bronze and my Morphe 140 brush and I'm gonna give myself quite the bronzing so I'm not really contouring a lot I am doing a bit of a contour never mind I'm gonna do a lot of a contour cuz that's how I roll anyways I'm just pushing and letting the brush hug right underneath my cheekbone and I'm blending a little bit of this onto my cheeks I like this because it's very sheer and I've seen people comment like how did you get it to show up but basically just give your brush like a really good swirl in it and it shows up really beautifully it's also something that you can use to build up color where you want like a sharper contour and you can also use it to kind of do a sheer wash of tan across your face I also like that she's uh, really bronzed that forehead of hers. So now that I've got that first bronzing down, I'm going to take my Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish and kind of go over it just to darken my skin a bit more. And the reason why I'm using both is I feel like if you build up the Pro Fusion Bronze too much, it can get kind of an ash tone to it. And I, I feel like with this, if you build it up a lot, it can get a little orangey. So they come together in perfect harmony. They're my blues. So because the Pro Fusion Bronze is more on the ash side, I'm going to take that one to contour my nose just because I find using just bronzer on my nose can be really warm and it sticks out more on the nose so I'm just pinching the brush like this and I'm going on the sides of my nose here now I'm going to take the color Embark from MAC right along my top lashes and I'm almost going to treat this like a liner, but I don't want to see any lines. So I'm just using it to darken my lash line and slightly on the lid. I just want a little bit of depth there, starting where you want the most throttle, right on the lash line. And for me, just because I want a little bit of that sexy cat eye, I'm going to wing mine out just a little bit. I'm going to smoke a little bit of this underneath my lashes, but just a tiny, whiny little bit. And to bump it up, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Star Powder. I'll write the name in the description box and just go along the areas that we put the Embark Shadow. This is barely visible, but I'm doing it just to give it a little bit of a sheen. I don't want it to be shiny. I just wanted to help blend how matte the other shadow is. Next, I'm going to take my Anastasia Starlight Illuminator. So, right on top of the cheekbones, down the center of my nose, center of my lips, other side. I'm actually going to use this in the inner corners of my eyes as well. So, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to tap this right on the inner corners of my eyes. To bring that out a little bit, I'm going to go in with my star powder and I'm going to intensify this. She looks like she has kind of like a bit of a sparkle on her nose. This doesn't really deposit a lot of lightness, but it does add a bit of shimmer and sparkle to the skin. Tap on slightly more right in the center of my nose. I'm also going to take that same product and go over top of the Starlight Illuminator to brighten it up a little bit. And again, I laid down the Starlight Illuminator first so it's a little bit more opaque because I feel like this on its own doesn't build up a whole heck of a lot. Now I'm going to go into my Tarte Amazon 12 hour clay brush blush. This is the color Peaceful. These are very pigmented by the way, so I'm going to start on my cheek and just pull it back. I'm using this side of the brush and I'm pulling it back almost like a fan. So I get that nice rosiness, but it kind of meets with my bronzer. For my mascara, I'm going to use an old favorite. This 
every video. This is the Extended Play Gigaback Black Lash and I'm going to wiggle right from the root of my hair all the way up and when I'm wiggling upwards, this is a very fine brush, but I'm going to kind of poke myself on the skin on my upper lip to get a little bit of that smoky black on there. So cover your lashes and then kind of press the brush against your lash line for a little added smokiness that isn't too noticeable and then you can give it a little finger blend if you have any visible dots. For the bottom lashes, I'm just going to wiggle back and forth so they're nice and long and full, but I want them to be separated still. So I like going back and forth using the tip. For my lashes, I'm gonna use these Silk Lashes by Velour, and these are the Osho Fluffy Lashes. They're new and they're awesome. I'm only gonna use one pair today, because uh, if you know me, then you know I like to be extra and if you don't know me now you know that I like to be extra and stack as many lashes as I can. I feel like I'm already being extra using these super long lashes. She doesn't really have super duper long lashes. I'm gonna compromise and only use one pair of lashes for this look. Take my lash and just flip it down as close as I can to my lash line. I'm much more natural than what I am used to sticking on but I'm kind of feeling this. See if I can keep that up. These are bomb. So for my lips, I'm gonna try and make them look as natural as possible. So I've got this Glisten Lip Surgeons, but um, it's a lip stain. Power pigment, okay. So the reason why I chose this is because it kind of stains your lips. In the picture, it looks like she has like nothing on her lips, just really perfect lips. So I'm using this over top of my lips, which had lip balm on them. And I'm working to kind of cover my lips. So that's giving me a little bit of a stain and a slight sheen, but because my lip color isn't super light, who the hell gets mascara on their nose? Jeez. And it's kind of going kind of like an ashy color on the outer edges of my lips. So I'm going to take a lip pencil. This is by Makeup Forever. This is 23C and I'm going to lightly color correct the areas that are kind of that ash tone. I'm going to go along the edges of my lips just to wipe out any of the ashy color. And this is kind of like a peach tone, so the peach in this will neutralize the kind of blue that's showing up in my lips. And thankfully, you don't have to be too careful with this because it's not to perfect and bring out the shape of your lip, it's just to color correct. Now, she appears to have a bit of gloss on, so I'm gonna take a very small amount of the plexiglass, and this is 202, and I'm just gonna dab it like this. And I'm going to take whatever finger doesn't have makeup or a mascara on it, so this one, and just blend it. I want the smallest amount of sheen. So that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. And don't forget to check out the other Victoria's Secret collab videos that I will link in the description box. And stay pretty and love yourself, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye! I would be the worst ever Victoria's Secret model because I'd be tripping down the runway. I can't walk in the sidewalk. <laughs>